Welcome back, guys, to The Messenger. Well, last episode, after running across lava to reach our last Phobkin Pyro, we found a way back into the underworld and looking to explore it to claim its power seals, came across the Key of Chaos. We then used our wax candle to navigate the dark cave and reach the Riviera Turquoise, having just claimed a well-protected seal as we now continue on. So apart from watery following the thing mechanics, we also have to... Oh! Boing! <laughs> there were flowery boing boings. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Can I activate the flowery boy boings in other ways? Can I just jump on it? No. That makes me upset. Could just very simply be something I still need to do. Oh, I didn't break that one. Oh, it's because I auto broke the other one with the strong attack. Oh. I pressed B to jump off the wall but I pressed down to slide a little bit at the same time, so I just let go of the wall. I don't want to go back that way. If you press down and B when you're on a wall, you go directly down. It'll be fine. Bouncy, bouncy, nothing but a good time. There we go, that's better. Hey, am I supposed to go over or under? I guess over. And even that <laughs> wasn't very close. <laughs> So this is the charred version. This is what we came in seeing. Come here, bird. It's a lot nicer area with our. Oh. <laughs> I need to shut up. I was about to say, less to instant death. <laughs> then the water was there. <laughs> Waiting underneath me. Oh, you. <laughs> I heard it starting to crumble. The reaction was obviously not anywhere near in time. No! Yes, yes, no! <laughs> I should press A. I didn't realize that the only way I'm getting across is via the green balls. <laughs> well, at the very least, not in time anyway. I'm worried that this bird is chasing me now. He's probably got that health. Ah, he's going to give it to me. This is the right timing. Oh. It was not. <laughs> I'm not sure I like having the power slash. 
Because now I sometimes think it'll be up. When it won't be up. Yes! <laughs> Simple platforming gun. <laughs> Please don't fall. <laughs> Wee. Ah. Future. Present past. We're making it. Anything else to chat about in this area? Nope. Maybe the money wrench will be done here. I don't know. No, it's fine. We're back into the nice... Ow! Totally nice area. Oh, there's something up there. I missed it. Is there a way for me to easily get back up? Oh, there is. Oh, that's actually the way up. Oh, I was gonna kill. I was gonna let myself die. Oh, it's two of them I have to hit. In order to make that gap. To just walk back up, but now it seems that that was a dumb decision as well. <laughs> it's fine. The spikes are two health. I can totally take it. But, well, they don't take two health, do they? Oh, no, they, t they do take two health. They used to take three. That was the rule, right? Well, I'm happy with what I just did. Cheesy, sure. Successful, also sure. So there's a way down, but that just blasts me back up. The correct way is this way. Of which we... Oh my god, this reminds me of Revenge of Shinobi so much. <laughs> this is just Revenge of Shinobi. I don't like this at all. I never liked this section of Revenge of Shinobi. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know when they're coming now. No! <laughs> Maybe, ah, oh, I should totally get on the wall on the other side. And then jump off from there, because I can jump from a lower point and see it coming. That does actually make a lot of sense. Yeah, cool, but I'll feed you a little bit more. Somebody just dodged that one, and I'm not sure how. You go away, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kill the enemies. For well, they are distractions. Here, Corbel, here you go. Here's some fees. Thank you for letting me live yet again. I don't want to think you're underpaid and undervalued. <laughs> there we go. Killing the enemies is a good idea. Making sure there's no distractions whatsoever. Just works. Oh! Am I supposed to go down? We're up. I'm confused. This again is like a, literally a section for Avengers should open. <laughs> I also imagine it's from various games, but... Now that I've got the save and all, I could probably just come back. I'm 
Regis Shinobi was a game on the Mega Drive. Some people will know it, some people won't. I'm gonna fall. Oh, it's a death. It is indeed a death. Wait a second, is there an actual area below me there? No, it is a death. And it was available in the Mega Drive's Mega Collection. So with Avenger Shinobi on one cart, you got Streets of Rage and Golden Axe as well. Oh, okay, there's wood now. I'm just like kind of confused about how I want to approach this, but it seems like I would fly like this. And Revenge of Shinobi was always the game I didn't get on with the most, but it, it goes places, that game. <laughs> of course, Streets of Rage is a classic known by pretty much everyone. I'm pretty sure most people know Golden Axe as well. They're actually trying to revive these, uh, like, Golden Axe and Revenge of Shinobi, I think, Sega currently. Like, make the modern variants of the games. Oh, God, I'm actually supposed to go across the logs? Where the hell am I supposed to go from here? I think there are revivals planned for those titles. The Golden Axe used to be on a... Like, if you went... Coin-op gaming, I guess. You'd see it a fair bit. Oh, it really is just running against the tide. Hmm, I appear a little trapped. <laughs> There we go, that wasn't too bad. Not like my uh, dad used to take us, take himself to the pub, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and at least they, they had a coin-up game there that had like, you know, like lots of old classics like Crackdown. And Golden Axe would be the one we mainly played. I'm talking like the original Crackdown, not like the, the later ones, the 3D ones. Back in the day of literally zero 3D games. Oh, it's an interesting area. Ow! Oh, you do me a disservice there, Mr. Fire Dude. But I will make my way over. Golden Axe was one of the, uh, just like Streets of Rage, is a two-player beat-em-up. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> and one of the better of its days. Very arcadey, so that's why it was often the coin-up machines. I guess it also depended on what was your console the day. Back in the days where we definitely only had one console as well. You could get on like dinosaurs and stuff. Revenge of Shinobi was quite out there because like you'd be back in the old times firing your shurikens at people. And then a couple of levels later you'd be basically fighting the not the Terminator. <laughs> It's a big robot. Why are we in a robot place now? But there were a lot of games like that back then. Like, uh, Indiana Jones had, like, a Mega Drive game as well. And that was... I think that got a bit weird at times. Oh, man. Indiana Jones. That's how I pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what that was about. I don't know exactly what Indiana Jones, uh... Oh, I can't hit them like that, nice. Exact name of the game was. But a lot of those games back then had you randomly, like, end up fighting technological monstrosities like the Terminator and stuff. <laughs> I think 
imagine, like, fighting Spider-Men. Like, Revenge of Shinobi went places. Can't wonder, wondering if I'm mixing this game up with something there, but it actually, like, fight against, like, legally distinct, not really those character characters, you get me? If my memory's anywhere near correct. Not these characters honest. <laughs> I can turn you around? What? <laughs> Bonkers. <laughs> totally not Terminator, surely not Spider-Man. That's what they were called, yeah. Give me the goods. And I don't know if I actually managed to complete any of these games. It's the funny thing about it. The games of yesteryear were always touted as a bit of a harder project after all. Do you think I've got this right? Or do you think I need to go across there to make sure everything is correct? Correct. I do indeed need to go across to get everything... I guess I need the bounce for the next area. I can't just walk through. That should be okay. Those Mega Collections, though, on the Mega Drive are pretty good, though. The, uh, the other one, well, actually, no, when I think about it, that one was really good. That one has had, like, three good games on it. The other one had, like, uh, Sega Soccer, which I actually really like. It was like, it's actually Soccer Italian 90, is I think exactly what it was called. God, uh, so you want this point this way, and that goes up, that goes around there, and then this goes up. How many more do I need to create? I guess I gotta go all the way up. Yeah, it's still more I need to do. Yeah. There's definitely a passage there. So I'll take it. But it had like game I think it had like outrun or something. Like a uh, and columns. Columns is always ace. No one's going to complain about playing Columns. <laughs> columns was fun. Having a little puzzle game on there. Everyone, surely everyone knows the music to Columns. But I'd say that was a less fulfilling gaming experience overall than, say... Just having Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. I think this is all correct still. Okay, cool. Not that I didn't play Soccer Italia a fair bit. Friend had that one. Oh, I didn't get that one right. Glad it just doesn't randomly kill you. Hmm, what's ahead of me here? I keep coming to the chat, but you never want to. Guess I'm gonna blast myself. <laughs> that's just... Every time that happens, that's really disconcerting. So this area itself is multiple planes. <laughs> I'm gonna grab your ball. I'm gonna grab your ball. Oh, I can't do it like that. Okay. Get. Didn't have to be like that. Oh, 
Why am I blasting myself now? I'm a bit worried about this. I think I'm just blasting myself straight. Oh, okay, cool. Phew. I thought for a second I might have been blasting myself straight into the water. Where am I going? Oh, I need to go across that. Oh, you son of a... No, 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 no. I didn't know there was a sniper in the room. I just wanted to survey surroundings for a second. God. Uh oh, well, I made it. Don't need you for a jump. Horrible. Is it his name? What? I don't know if you're getting his name wrong or now I think it's named wrong. Oh my god, I missed. Come here. I need to kill it. Oh, you should. I could die. It must die. <laughs> oh, this is a puzzle corridor, isn't it? <sighs> Neran, thank you for coming by with the time of the sub. Cheers very much, Lee. Subbing up yet again. Alright, there must be another us on that. <laughs> I kind of... Yeah, I was about to say, I kind of missed. Glad the enemies didn't respawn, though. Wait a second, is there just a way through here? Yes. Ooh. I mean, that's cool and all, but how do I get that firing that way now? Ah, okay. It's not about getting it to fire a direction, it's about facing it so that you can fire at it from this side. What is it with my not being able to, like, ape that at all? Don't worry, I've overcorrected the other way entirely. What the? Don't. <laughs> what? This is where I miss it now. expect to fall into the thing. How do I get into there now? But there's a way upwards in the previous area? Oh, this is well confusing. I'm gonna end up dying, I know it. Okay, so in this area, there's a way upwards. Okay, this is very, uh, this is confusing. I need to obviously check the way down again. Now I'm just wondering if I just launch myself. Oh my goodness, it's literally an obvious jump spot. What? <laughs> it was really obvious. <laughs> okay. Well, we're making it somewhere. Uh... 
No, I didn't want that. I want to hit it. I need to melee that one on the way down. So then that one goes upwards. I'm just wondering if I could just reach this anyway at this point. Uh, I could just grab that, can I? Can I really not just grab that? <laughs> I'm stubborn enough to try. Oh, I'll fall too far now. I could have hit that on the way down, idiot. After you'd fluffed it, you could have definitely given it a go. No, you cannot reach that. Uh. So we've got that one change at least. <laughs> Change that one. That one goes to there. Oh, so we actually just need to change this one. And this one. And everything should work for me. Of course I try to be like, do I even need to do the puzzle? Yes. <laughs> the answer to this is very yes. So we now have all three power seals in the Livia Turquoise. Oh, I actually fired it near center. <laughs> Where am I supposed to fire down from here? Oh. oh I'm supposed to just change that. What the? Sometimes I disappoint myself more than I disappoint you. Don't worry about it, it's my superpower. <laughs> Alright, eight power seals remaining. We have quickly cut down a lot of that number. Need anything? Sure, let's have a chat. About a level boss. This is the first boss we've had in ages. <laughs> Any idea what I will find next? Probably my death. Not really, but I fear this place's past may still be affecting its future. The curse is stronger than it looks here. If you see an opportunity to catch a firefly, you should take it. Okay, can I do that? I didn't know that was a possibility. And I'll believe you, I guess. Hello? Welcome, messenger, to this sacred grove. Oh, it sounds really nice. It's gotta be a friend. Whoa, who are you? I am the butterfly matriarch, the embodiment of beauty. Come closer. I have a gift for you. Be careful, the matriarch is not what she seems. Firefly. Oh. Oh, wow, well, very traditional enemy for the uh, genre. See, she is plagued by an ugly monster. You must free her of this evil. Away of you, puny thing. Now, messenger, come closer. And die. <laughs> it's nice of you. Oh, you can transport me to the past yourself? Oh. I was gonna say, uh, I need a fire, fire. Oh, I missed them. Wait, can I even hit these? Firefly, help me! Huh? So the good side of it. What is trying to help us defeat it? Not over here now. <laughs> I 
Do I even hit them? Uh oh, oh, confusion. Help me help you. I don't think I can hit these. No, I couldn't. I'm pretty sure I can. Or I'm just really fluffing here. Missing. Oh. Oh, man. Confused. Not now. Luckily, I can still... Luckily, my... As I say in every game where this happens... Luckily, my Bomberman training always comes in handy. Oh, that's bad. How am I supposed to dodge the beams? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, instant death, boss pits. A minute, you did that just because you wanted to see me? I really didn't want to see you at this point in time, no. It's going well. Oh, I'm confused after death? What the hell, man? Corbel. <laughs> In the lack of a platform. <laughs> Look at Corbel. <laughs> Corbel wants none of that. Just trying to see if I can break the bats, but I obviously can't. Lost two health for it, so that's dumb. Walk on the water. No wonder you can't, because that would make this boss a bit thingy after the fact, wouldn't it? Blast me, you get! I'm trying to like bait you. Ooh, I'm uh, wondering if I can stay on them, these platforms that much longer. Yeah. Platform disappeared and I didn't get my hit in, which is kind of sad. No. Oh. Oh, but the moment the curse is released is the most dangerous. I was thinking after the three full-powered hits that I would have done enough hits to move it on to its next phase, so I kind of, like, left, thinking the platforms might disappear, if you know what I mean. And then I would just fall into the water and die. You think the platforms are always there? Well, they might be, but I'm not willing to find out by just going, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, man, that was a big fail. Make sure we only need three slashes. I need more than three on this phase. Is it always two of these and then two bats? I'm even, like, unsure about the... Like, the platforms are probably always there, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> but I still don't want to bet on it.
It'd be funny if the platform was in the middle of this place. In some regards, I just feel like taking the hits here and just standing really still. You get me? Oh. Well, I guess I've chosen. Oh, you... St oh, I did it! <laughs> No! Uh oh, what's going on here? Whoa. Yeah, I'll take you from above. I think this is safer than me trying to gamble on jumping on a platform that's that thin. Incredible, to be free at last. How long has it been? Too long. I made a mistake. I thought beauty would fix it all. Thank you, messenger, for ridding me of this rotten core. Is this a lesson on appearances, how they can be deceiving, and why we should never judge based on them? Why, yes, you took the words right out of my- Wait, do butterflies even have mouths? Anyway, you have been a great help. Let one of my fireflies accompany you on your journey, and I'm certain you will find her valuable when things get dire. Oh, I'm sure. We got the magic firefly. Strong enough to lift a minor curse, she can work against the forces of evil. How you remind me of the monk who saved me once. I wondered what became of her. Anyway, farewell, messenger. <laughs> oh, yes. Definitely just a random saying and not an obvious lead-in to what I should do next. Totally, right? 